sorry for him. No, I don't. He's the one that created this whole nightmare. I know he had something to do with Tony's accident. Come on, Dad, if he wasn't involved, why would he have to create a fake wedding? Or anything else? You guys talking about Max? Yeah. Yeah, I just saw him leaving. Boy, did he look bummed out. Because he was feeling sorry that he didn't get what he wanted. Rachel. I'm gonna go back to the house and see if Tony's there. Bye. Bye, Angel. You want to see what I got? Why not? Clark, if you know something about this, you have to tell me. Something about what? Camille said you were very worried about Tony's well-being. No, well, you can't believe anything Camille says. You know that. Whatever you told her got her very upset. I know that. I only scared her so that she'd stop gossiping with Mora. Everything she says, she has to discuss with Mora. I mean, I'd had enough of it. I told her it was about time to keep our dirty laundry at home. Well, what did she tell Mora? You're familiar with the circumstances surrounding Rachel's arrival, right? Yeah, of course. Well, Camille told Mora everything. I only scared Camille to keep her from blabbing. I told her that someone could use the information to harm Tony. Someone like whom? Mora? More or someone else. Clark, I don't buy your story. You're not telling me something. Well, that's what happened. If you don't buy it, that's your problem. Tony has never disappeared like this. He promised Rachel he'd pick her up. Then he gets a phone call from David Lodgman, and nobody has seen him since. I know that. We called everyone we know. No one's seen or heard from Tony. We were hoping he might be on the yacht with Mora. Excuse me now. Hello? Hello. Uh, who is this? Uh, this is Andrew. Who is this? Andrew, it's Rachel. Uh, I've been trying to call you guys for a while, but the phone was busy. Is Tony back yet? No, not yet. No? What do you think happened to him? I'm not sure yet. But I don't think it's anything we have to worry about. He probably just went out and, you know, had problems with the car. The car broke down or something. But he told me that he would pick me up this morning. I know that he would have called me. Besides that, Andrew, the man that picked me up this morning to show me the house was not his employee. He never even told anybody to look for a house for sale. Yeah, I know that, Rachel. Um, we just have to remain calm. How can I be... How can I be calm? We have to do something. We have to call the police. We've already called the police, Rachel. Charles Packer called them. What did they say? Nothing yet. Andrew, I'd like to come over. I know that if you guys get any news about Tony, I, I want to be there. Okay. I'm going to send a driver to go pick you up. Okay. Bye. You're sending a driver to pick her up? Rachel is Tony's wife. They patched things up yesterday. We don't know that. He could have changed his mind. Something has happened to Tony, Camille. Rachel has every right to be in this house. Andrew, you have no right to... Camille, me. Andrew has every right. Listen, I'll go pick her up. Martin can show me where she is. I can't believe this. Well, can't you believe? Tony was going to bring her back to the house anyway. Isn't that right, Victoria? Yes. And she should be here. Here he is, sir. What are you doing here? Mr. Stockdale brought me here last night. And he hasn't let me out all day. Me either. Mm. Do you know where Rachel is? Yes. Good, let's go get her. What about me? No, no, no. You got to stay. The boss is really worried about you. I'm very worried about Mr. Stockdale. Why? Well, we don't know where he is. He disappeared right after getting a phone call from Mr. Larchman. Really? I understand you know Mr. Larchman. 
Have you seen Mr. Hauser? He's been here all day. He's worried, too. Please. Please, let me out just for a few hours. I can't run, Danielle. My little brother's very sick. Very well. Follow me. Where are we going? I'm going to have one of the drivers take you to the hospital. I'm going to tell him to wait for you and bring you back. But don't you even think for a moment of running away, because the driver's prepared to stop you. What a creep. here looking for you, but he left. This better have worked. What well, worked? Tony being dead. I hope Tony's dead. Of course he's dead. Or so I hope. All right, I gotta get out of here. I got some things to do. I gotta start spinning a plan. I'll call you later. All right, nice. That's a bummer. Oh. Mm. So you want to go? I, I don't know if I can go out. Well, I've got something very important to tell you, and I, I don't think I could do it here. Hello, everybody. Rachel, you ready? Yeah. Uh, I think you want us to wait here for you. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Uh, I'm going to stay with Mr. Swanson. Fine by me. Let's go. Dan, I'm gonna go catch some dinner with Louis K. All right, I'll, I'll wait here with Martine. All right. Hey, do you need any money? No, 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 no. This time it's on me. Thanks, Martine. <laughs> See you guys. Okay. Adios. Do you know what? I think I. That guy's got something to do with the mess. Louis? Yeah. No, no, no. He's a nice guy. Okay, forget it. I said everything. Okay. We're gonna need a big, nice, cold one. Yes, yes. And I really, really need one. Yes. Come on. on me. I will if you start acting like a child, okay? I just think I deserve an explanation, that's all. Why? I think he just wanted to come into bed. Yeah. So what's wrong with that? What's wrong is that I feel rotten. You used me. No, wait a second. I didn't use you. You wanted it, all right? You seduced me, Frank. No, I never heard you say stop. You never said that, did you? No. Why are you treating me like this? Like what? We're both adults here. We had a good time, and it's over. Wait. I thought I was your friend. You are my friend, but what's that got to do with anything? I made love to you, Frank. No, no, no. Listen to me. We didn't make love. We had sex. Good sex. That's it. I never promised you anything else. Yes, you did. Listen, you cut this out right now, okay? I 
want you to stop calling my house. Do you understand that? God, you're such a bastard. Listen to me, and listen closely, all right? If you keep this stupid nonsense up, I'm going to tell the whole goddamn town that you slept with me. Goody, goody, reputation will go down the toilet. Do you want that? No. Then stop calling me, all right? Pretend this never happened. How can you do that? It's very easy, Carl. I got a lot of practice. I do it all the time, all right? Now be a good girl. Keep your silly mouth shut, and everything will be as good as always. You got that? Yeah. Got that? I can't hear you. Fine. Now, how do you want me to be next time I see you in public? Pretend it never happened. Real day. You have no idea. So much stuff is going on. Same here. Clark was here asking a bunch of questions. The doctor said I can leave tomorrow. That's great, Daniela. Yeah. Oh, you're finally out of here. And look. What's that? Clark gave it to me. Why? Come on. Try it. That's cool. Hi, Daniel. Yeah, it's really cool and it's really expensive too. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Take good care of it. We might have to sell it someday and, and use the money. Oh, come on, don't be silly. Not now. Someday, if we need it. Just take care of it. Tell me what happened. You don't need to know. I mean, last night, I went home, and Bill was waiting for me. Huh? But you, you're kidding. Why? Shall I set the table for dinner? Oh, James, I don't think so. I'm not hungry, are you? No. Not right now. Maybe later, James. Have you seen Alex? No, I haven't, sir. Shall I check her bedroom? Please. Excuse me. Thank you, James. Hold up. I'm starved. Is Tony back yet? No, he's not. Clark went to pick up Rachel. What for? She's very concerned. She wants to be here. Oh, good for her. I don't think anything's happened to him. Nothing sinister, anyway. Well, then where is he? He's probably out getting drunk with a couple of friends or something. Oh, for heaven's sakes, you know that's not like Tony. Things change, Mother. All day and he never showed up. Did you say you guys are moving back to the Stockdale house? Actually, Tony told Rachel that um, he was going to get us all a house of our own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what were you going to tell me? Uh, I just did a uh, business deal where I made a carload of money. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> sure. What's that got to do with me? Will you marry me? She isn't there, sir. She's not? No, sir. Rachel, come in. Yeah, sit down. Have you heard anything yet? No, nothing yet. <laughs> they found Tony's car. Where? Down at the docks. At the docks? Yeah. <laughs> 
What's he doing there? The car's been parked there all day. Was there any damage to the car? No, it's just parked there. No damage, no nothing. Who found it? The police. You told the police about this? Yes, Victoria. Andrew and I talked about it, and we decided it was the best thing to do. Why the hell wasn't I told about this? Huh? Tony's gonna come mumbling through that door any second, and now we're gonna have to deal with a scandal. That's true. I wish you'd talk to us before you'd call the police. Why do you guys worry about what everybody's gonna think all the time? You're always worried about what the newspapers are gonna say. You know, the only important thing here right now is Tony's well-being, and I think Andrew and Charles were right to call the police. You have no say in this. I really don't care to hear what you think. Camille, Tony is my husband. I don't care what you think. That's enough, both of you. Stop it. Now, Rachel's right. The most important thing right now, right here, is to find Tony. Max, you are such a hypocrite. You'd be the first one to celebrate if anything happened to Tony. Camille! Victoria, you know it's true. What did the police say? Well, they're looking for Tony. Some witnesses say that the car has been parked there since this morning. Well, did he take the yacht? No, it's still docked. Rachel, the guy that picked you up to go see the house. Yeah? Well, what time did he get there? Uh, what time did he pick you up? It was almost nine. James, what time did David Larchman call? About 9.15, sir, and he asked for Tony directly. Not, not Rachel? No, he wanted to talk to Tony. Tony called my sister right after I left. Marnie said that he sounded really nervous. She said she told him that I went to see a house and he hung up the phone on her. Tony really wanted to locate this David Larchmont. It was his top priority. Why was he at the docks? Why there? James, did you call and make an appointment for Tony to see the house? Oh, no, Mom. That was a setup, Camille. What do you mean, setup? The guy that picked up Rachel to take her to see the house said he was an employee, right? Well, that's a lie. So I figured that David Larchman called Tony, told him he was with Rachel, to get Tony to go down to the docks. Only God knows what happened after that. Oh, my God, I just hope he's all right. Andrew, I want to talk with you in private. Yeah, sure. Listen, Chuck. If you want to talk to him, I want to hear what you have to say. Me too. I said I wanted to talk to Andrew in private. Why? Uh, calm down, Max. Charles wants to talk to me in private. That's the way it's going to be. Excuse me. Come on. Who the hell do they think they are? They can order us around like that? So what's up? Well, Andrew, you know that I've worked for Tony for many years. Mm -hmm. I respect him greatly. I know that. After the crash, Tony came to me with several things to do, none of which had to do with my job. He never explained why, and I didn't ask. But I have come to my own conclusions. And what are your conclusions? There's something very strange about his marriage to Rachel. A while back, he sent me to San Francisco to search things out for him. So Max and David Larchman are the same person? Yes. Did you tell Martin? Yes, I told Martin. Have you told Mr. Stockdale? I can't. I'm scared. What if Max does something terrible to you? You have to tell him, Annie. I mean, what if Max hurts you? Tell Mr. Stockdale that Max wants to hurt us. I think Clark suspects something, and he might go and tell Mr. Stockdale. So you have to go first, before he hears it from anyone else. You really think so, Daniel? Yeah, he's real being nice, but... He, who knows how he's going to react? Yeah, I guess you're right. And we have to help Rachel. 
I don't understand why this guy Max is hitting so many people. Look, Daniel, I don't know what to think anymore. All I know is that they said that Mr. Stockdale, he disappeared this morning. What? Yeah. He got a call from Mr. David Larchmont, and no one's seen him ever since. You're in love with him. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> no reason. She's so nice and so pretty and, and oh, and I like her so much. Have you told her? Ah, I can't. Why not? Peter, this time I have to cry. No, no, don't cry. Yeah, why did she laugh in my face? Well, you gotta realize that you're a lot older than she is, my friend. No, 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 no. I am not old. I might be a little rusty, but I am not old. Besides, you could help me a lot. How? You could tell her lots of nice things about me. Um, I don't know. Oh. Well, you could tell her that I am a nice man and, and hard worker and honest. All right, you're a nice guy, but I don't know about the hard work and the honest part. But I got a job. Martin, none of that makes any difference. The only thing that matters is how she feels about you. Oh, but she likes me a lot. Do you know, she talks to me all the time and... and... She tells me her secrets, and uh, and she's so sweet, and, and and she needs a man now to protect her now that everybody's threatening her. Who's threatening her? Uh, the people, people, Peter. Uh, are you gonna help me or not? Yeah, I'll talk to her. I'm gonna help you. <laughs> then I don't have to cry anymore. No, 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 no cry. Salute. So this Bill guy works for Frank Turnell? Exactly. I used to work at the club, uh -huh. and he continues to do Frank's scams for him. But the strange thing about all this is that both times that Rachel was supposed to meet David Larchmont, uh -huh. this Bill character showed up. Well, what did Tony have to say about all this? <sighs> he was perplexed. Last night, Tony told me that he felt that Frank Tornell and Max were planning to do him some harm. Now, Andrew, I'm well aware that Max is Tony's brother and that Victoria is his mother. Yeah. But I tell you that if anything has happened to Tony, I'm going to have to go to the police with everything that I have. Nothing yet? Nope. <sighs> no, nothing. They found his car by the docks. What are we going to do? I don't know. I, I guess I'll just stay here for a while, okay? Okay. I'll see you later, okay, Rach? All right. Bye. Boy. Everyone's really freaked out. What about Tony? Yeah. They found his car at the docks. He's nowhere. Huh. Man, what a bummer. We're supposed to move back into his house today. I'm so sick of this place. <sighs> Marnie. I love you. And I need to... Louis, I know. I just... I can't give you an answer right now. I've got too much on my mind. <sighs> I know why you can't answer me. Why? You think you're going to meet one of the, uh, Stockdale's friends? You're going to meet someone better than me? Hey... Why are you taking that tone with me? I appreciate your friendship, Lewis, and the fact that you've loaned me some money. Don't talk to me like that. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm... You know, I'm upset because I feel like you're just using me. How can you say that? You're well... the only friend I have here. It's really quite simple. Every time I ask you out, you, uh... <clears throat> you seem as though you're, you're waiting for a better offer before you accept. You know, it, if the answer is money, I'll take you to the bank right now and I'll show you my bank account, Marnie. I am very rich. Louis. <laughs> I think that your idea of rich and mine might be two very different things. Yeah, well, perhaps you're right. But ten million bucks... Ain't peanuts. What? 
David Largemont lives. I don't even know him. Who does? If you'll excuse me, Annie Fernandez, the boy's sister knows him. What boy? The boy that Miss Mary ran over. Well, let's find her and ask her where he is. She's here right now in the kitchen, ma'am. What? Mr. Stockdale brought her here last night. Why? Well, Tony thought that by bringing her here would be better for security purposes. And not only that, to make sure that she didn't run away like her friend Julie. And Tony said that to you? Yes, ma'am. Well, what are you waiting for? Go get her. Yeah, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's Julie? Julie's the one who introduced Annie to David Larchmont. But she said that she got paid by Tony, right, Max? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I found Julie, and she had one of Tony's checks on her. I just don't know who's telling the truth anymore. Here she is. Good evening. And, Annie, you have to help us. Tony disappeared. And the last person he spoke with was David Larchmont. Annie, do you know where he is? No. Who is it? Me, Marie. Oh. Okay. Hey, come on in, Daddy. Who's Rach? She's at Tony's. What do you mean? She stayed there? Well, I don't know if she's going to stay overnight or not, but he hasn't shown up yet. What do you suppose happened to him? Oh, boy. I don't know, honey. I, I just I just hope he got busy with somebody else. Yeah. Um, what about you? Do you have a good time? Well, Lewis asked me to marry him. Really? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? I mean, he seems like an okay guy. Yeah, he's nice, but... He just closed this business deal that he claims made him ten million dollars. Ten million dollars? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I made a deal once. Made ten thousand. <laughs> that was a huge deal. <laughs> Some people are born lucky. It makes me mad. Yeah, he's lucky. I don't know. I mean, what kind of deal does somebody make that makes them $10 million overnight? Something's really weird. Uh, well, maybe, you know what? Maybe he just bought some land a long time ago and sold it, honey. You know what? Hmm. Martine's in love. <laughs> He's in love <laughs> with who? Annie. With Annie? For real? Sure. <laughs> no. I don't know where Mr. Larchmont lives. But my girlfriend Julie does. She's not here right now. She's in Mexico City. <sighs> Annie, did Julie ever tell you about a check that Tony gave her? No, ma'am. Oh. Tony had a checkbook stolen a few days ago. We searched all over the house for it, we couldn't find it. Someone in this house took it, and whoever took it knows David Launchman. Well, that's possible. But it's also possible Tony lied. Lied? Yes, lied, Mother. Said his checkbook was stolen, and here he is writing checks to this girl, Julie. Now, why would he do that? I don't know. Mm. No, that is not true. Well, what are we going to do? Are we all just going to sit around here? I don't want a mother. We should get going. I think I'd better stay. 
If you want me to give you a ride back to the hotel? Rachel, you should stay here. I mean, that way, as soon as somebody hears something, you'll be the first to know. We're leaving. Good night, everyone. Come on, Clark. Okay. Good night. Good night. Well, I reckon I better get on home myself. Good night, y'all. Good night, Charles. Good night, Charles. I'll call you tomorrow. Andrew, what did Charles tell you? Well, he said that Tony was extremely nervous last night. Why? Well, apparently he thinks that someone wants to kill him. Who wants to kill him? He didn't say. <laughs>